Welcome to Wednesday and the opportunity for me to share another Wednesday words with you. I am so thankful that you take time out of your schedule to spend a few moments with me. In trying to be a caring, connected community of believers, we need to do all we can to spend time together and share in each other's lives. God designed us to interact with each other, to assemble together, to recognize that everyone is an important part of his body. And during these times of stay home, stay safe, we have to diligently work at fulfilling God's desire for his people. Let me continue to encourage you to do everything you can to invest and be involved in the lives of our CBC family. Send out notes, texts, emails, connect by Zoom. Make phone calls to those who may not be connected with others or to those who may need some extra encouragement. Take some time to share with others. As we all navigate these difficult and, in many ways, different times, when we do connect, ask about any prayer requests. Ask about challenges. But no matter what, let us always remind each other that God is good all the time. And all the time, our God is good. Part of my daily time with God is spent in the book of Proverbs. My habit is to read the chapter of Proverbs that corresponds to the day of the month. So, today I read Proverbs 29 because it's April 29th. It's always interesting to me to see how the Holy Spirit applies the Word of God to our lives. I have discovered that many times the application reflects my circumstances and the stuff of life that I'm dealing with at the time. When I got to verse 18 of Proverbs 29, I read this. Where there is no prophetic vision, the people cast off restraint. But blessed is he who keeps the law. I like the way the King James translates this verse. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keeps the law, happy is he. As I thought about that verse, understanding everything that's going on in our lives, my mind transitioned to all the things that we have learned during this COVID-19 stay-at-home, stay-safe process. And I asked myself, what is our vision going forward? Now, that is not a new question, but something we have been asking and asking and asking. What is our vision for the days, months, and years ahead as we seek to spread the gospel, to grow as Christ-like disciples? How are we going to live out God's word in a new and effective way? Well, here are a few things that I believe we need to focus on as we develop our vision for Calvary Baptist Church. Number one, we need to think about technology. Technology is a great way to reach our world with the truth of the gospel. As we have identified the responses to the different media platforms that we have used during this time for our ministry, we have discovered that there are many who have been exposed to our CBC family and community. Our vision moving forward is to continue to present God's truth, to present it to a lost and dying world, and to do it in such a way that it is authentic and relevant to our culture. Number two, we need to continue to work on our connectedness in Christ. That is so, so important. We need each other. Being part of the body is important because it takes all the parts of the body to function in a manner that is effective. God designed us to be interconnected. Children, students, adults, singles, married, those who have lost loved ones. Our vision is that we will not be independent parts, but that we will recognize our connection to the whole. We also need to understand that going backwards is not an option. We all remember 9-11. That event changed our country. We are all going through the COVID-19 crisis, an event which is changing our country, and we need to make sure that the lessons we learn during this time challenge us and change us and help us conform to the body of Jesus Christ. I believe that God is using this crisis to challenge and change the church. 
his body, his people, into those who are more passionate about the things of God and more effective in the work of God. Now, I do not have all that worked out in my mind, but I believe that we should never and can never return to the same old, same old. We must be forward thinking in our ministry, in our mission, and in our vision. Pray with us that we will thrive as a body of believers and that our love for the truth of God's word will be reflected in all of our lives, in all of our ministries, as we live out the vision that we believe God has for us. Let me remind you that this Lord's Day, we will be celebrating the Lord's table. So as we begin our service, make sure that you have some grape juice and a cracker as we remember his given body and his shed blood. Please take care of yourselves. Stay home, stay safe, and look for the lessons that God wants us to learn as we develop his vision going forward for his glory. Pray with me, will you please? Our Father, I thank you so much that you are God. And I thank you that nothing ever escapes your notice. And Father, that you do work all things together for our good and your glory to challenge us and change us and conform us to Christ. I thank you for what you're doing in the church. I thank you for what you're doing in our community of believers that we call Calvary Baptist Church. And Father, I pray that you would just give us the vision that we need. Because without that, we will be lost. And yet, with that, we will be able to live out your truth for your honor and for your glory. We love you, Father. Take care of our dear church family. Work in their lives. Be with those that are struggling, those that are hurting, those that are trying to, to work through the challenges that they're facing today. Encourage us all and draw us close to the wonder of who you are as we recognize your work in our lives. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.